I'm going to connect the potentiometers. This panel has four of them. One, two, three, and four. Each of the four potentiometers have three connections. All of these three connections have to be connected with the actual card, with three different cables. Four potentiometers, three connectors per potentiometers, as for 12 wires. I have 12 wires here, already cut to length. Every one of these pieces has actually two wires. I have already cleaned the ends on both sides and I've twisted them. What's going to happen next, I'm going to put a little bit of solder on top of them so that when, the, when I connect uh, to the pins, it's going to be easier to, to solder to the pin. been soldered and is going to be connected to the potentiometer. I will be using this uh, heat shrinkable tubes for each cable. The idea is that you cut part of it you end up with this you put it through the cable You connect this end to the potentiometer, then you move this on top of the cable and with the source heat this will shrink. And what is this going to allow? Because the potentiometer pins are very close to each other, uh, even if they would be so close that they could be touching, nothing is going to happen because there is this isolation in between one wire and the other. So connecting a potentiometer, this is the, the idea is, is very simple. You have three pin each potentiometer with three cable that will go to uh, the car. One is for the ground, one is for the input and the other one is for the power. Each wire goes connect to a pin. This is the actual card we are going to be using. It's the absolutely the same represented in this diagram. Uh, here you have all the pins, here you have the pins. Uh, this is the uh, USB connection. The, the wires that will come from the potentiometers will be connected to this three pin. Now, at the back of the actual potentiometer, which is here, uh, the cable will be directly connected to each pin with a shrinking tube like I showed you before. However, here on the card, uh, because the pin the pins are so small and so close to each other, uh, I just cannot go and put in a, uh, a cable directly. So the idea is that we're going to use some kind of adapters, which, which are this one. Uh, this adapter will have three holes here. These three holes will precisely connect on top of the three pins just like that and then I will connect the cables to to these three pins so I can if I need to remove uh, or move something around I can easily just disconnect it from three pin here and let's say connect it to the next three pins
potentiometers are now being connected and each pin has its own wire. Uh, one of the potentiometers has also now uh, been connected to the little pin that will be attached to the actual uh, card. It's got three wires, again one for the ground, one for the power and one for the input. Finally I mounted the panel to the cockpit, uh, both, of them are, uh, both of them are done. And we're going to take a look quickly at how it works. I put some of the lights out so that we can represent, let's say, the darkness uh, that you have in a cockpit while flying. So the first is the backlight system and all of the lights that we put at the back of the panels. I think this way will even be a little bit too bright, so maybe this way will be a good way to have it. Then we're going to look at the monitors here. And this just dims the brightness of the monitors. And just as well, the upper acres and the lower. And finally, the background lens, the one on top of the MCP. And the one underneath on top of the uh, lower ACAS. Before we close, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to connect a Leo Bodner card, joystick card, uh, to, to ProSim 737. So basically once all the pins that we've soldered in earlier episodes are connected to the card, you go into ProSim, and you go into the configuration menu, and from the configuration menu you go into analogs. Here are all of the options you have uh, for any analog uh, component within your MIP. And here is where you can find it. So for example, the lower, a the lower DU, the lower ACAS, uh, you just originally would have said not connected, but then you drop down in the selection box here, and you, pay, you will see if you've connected the Leo Bodnar card uh, USB to the computer where ProSim is installed. You'll see that you'll find it uh, in the menu. It's one of the one of the lines. So you select uh, that one and one of this. I'll, I'll show you one just as an example. Of what happens once you select it? Something up, pops up here on the side, and all you have to do is select one of these options. Each and every one of these options connects to each. Uh, to one of the pin on the card. The card has, I believe, uh, 12 pins, so here you should have 12 entries. And it's as simple as that. Once you've selected one, you've tested, uh, if it doesn't work, it means that you have to select another one. I, honestly, I don't know what the, the uh, logic behind is, uh, so I, I just start selecting one by one until the one I needed worked, and I moved to the next the display. Uh, and finally, at the end, I've connected all of them. It's as simple as that, nothing else. Once works, you just click OK so that the configurations can take and you've done. You're done. You've connected basically all of your displays, all of your dim, your uh, uh, potentiometers that you've connected to the Leo Bodenar card. So guys, we're done with another phase of this project. I'm really pleased of how it came out. Obviously a lot more that we are going to have to do. Uh, these panels here, they will all eventually have to backlight, uh, backlit it, but to be honest, right now, that doesn't really uh, bother me. I can do it later on at a later stage. There are other things that I think are more important that I want to uh, 
uh, I want to do. Well, first of all, I want to fly, and as you can see, I have no joystick here. So that is the next thing I'm going to do. The joystick is ready. Uh, I'm still using the Cessna joystick from uh, SciTech. But before I put it back, I want to work on my pedestal. Uh, I, I need to do the support for the pedestal, uh, more, more of a permanent one. Right now, I just have a box. So that is going to be our next project. If you like what, what you've seen and how, how I do my videos, you know, uh, please consider to subscribe. If you have questions, just go ahead and ask them. Um, but if you also have suggestions, you know, if you, if you think I missed how I did something and you're not sure, just ask me. Uh, I can do two things. I can either explain it to you in a comment or uh, I can maybe make a, a quick spare video uh, and just show you how I did something. Uh, that's, that's always a possibility. So once again, hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to be working on the uh, pedestal. Thanks for watching. Bye.